Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. If I sound a little sick today, that's because I am. I just recently caught the flu, unfortunately, so I am quite sick, and my voice is probably going to be heavily affected by it, and I apologize ahead of time. However, today we are taking a look at another one of these newer PNSO figures, and this is one that I've probably been looking forward to the most out of all the figures that I can even think of so far for 2019, and it is the PNSO Large Vinyl Ceratosaurus. In fact, it is Nick the Ceratosaurus, and uh, you can see a beautiful box here, and then of course down at the bottom, Nick the Ceratosaurus. The box art is absolutely fantastic, with this great shot of the actual model itself. The box looks the same on both sides. So there's not really much point in looking at the other side of the box, it all looks the same. It also comes with, of course, a booklet like PNSO figures usually do. And here is the inside of the booklet. Once again, you've got a beautiful image of the Ceratosaurus itself right there, the same image you saw on the front of the box. And then all sorts of information, as always, that is included by PNSO. They once again do an incredible job on the overall presentation of their figure, and including these booklets always just takes it up to another level of awesome when it comes to the total package of getting a PNSO figure. And here is Nick the Ceratosaurus, and Nick the Ceratosaurus is absolutely amazing. As I said before, this is a figure that I was looking forward to for so long hoping PNSO would make it, and when they actually announced one, I was so insanely excited, but never in a million years did I expect it to turn out just as beautiful and realistic as it is. This is easily and honestly the most realistic looking dinosaur model that I have in my entire collection, and I have quite an extensive collection. So for this model to be able to hold that title, that is just absolutely amazing to me. But without me yapping here about how nice it is, I'm just going to go ahead, get a closer look, and show you guys how nice it is. So starting up here at the head, you can see the inside of the mouth is a very realistic coloration, and the detail that is included on this skin flap here on the side of the mouth is just beyond incredible. You can see it just looks insanely realistic, just beautifully done. The teeth overall look very nice. Again, they have a beautiful gloss. This has a gloss here, the side uh, skin flap here of the mouth, but so do the teeth, and they just look genuinely real and have a great wet look to them. They just really honestly look like real living animal teeth, and the overall mouth looks really, really good. You can see inside there the beautiful wet look. I love that the tongue there is a different coloration than the throat area and the inside of the mouth, and it all just genuinely looks so real. It's a beautiful coloration, very realistic coloration, and that nice gloss really amps it up to another level of realism. Then as we look at the actual head sculpt, you can see the nostrils are beautifully sculpted right here up in the tip of the snout. And then we come up here, you can see those very trademark Ceratosaurus crests, and they look very real. So much incredible sculpt work has gone into the crests. Just look at all the incredible cracks and crevices all throughout the crests, making the entire thing just look super realistic. They are painted with a like reddish brown, and then it has these black stripes that kind of run along the edge, and it just makes the entire thing just look so real and very striking. And I love this blue that they've added up here on the top of the head. Nowhere else on the body is that blue seen, but it gives it the appearance of probably being a male Ceratosaurus, and the overall look of it's so flashy, but so real, so realistically done. That blue, I think, just is what sets this whole figure off over the edge as far as looking so beautiful and striking, but again, done so realistically. The detail here in the uh, palette area looks very good as you run back here into the eye socket area. You can see the detail and sculpt of the actual eye socket looks incredible. Again, beautiful paint has been airbrushed on, and the eye itself looks very real and very nicely painted and applied. It's got a beautiful gloss once again, making it shine and look genuinely like a real dinosaur's eye staring at you. So PNSO has absolutely knocked the entire head sculpt and all the details and paint and everything completely out of the park with this Ceratosaurus. As you lead down into the lower jaw, you can see that the lower jaw is beautifully sculpted. There are a few osteoderms and stuff throughout, and once again, so many different skin tones and coloration throughout the uh, lower jaw, and honestly, the entire body, just making this dinosaur figure just look so real. Then as you start to run down the neck, you can see all sorts of bumps and osteoderms pick up, and then you come down into the throat, you can see some very nice skin folds there, and some skin hanging from the throat itself. And this is actually one thing I want to point out is that you can see the seam here, but it's so very hard to see. But if you take even a slight step away, it disappears. 
So that is just super impressive how much PNSO has improved upon the seams of these big vinyl figures. They have just done an incredible job as far as improving since their last round of these figures. Then as you start to run down the neck, you can kind of see a nice white wash up on the upper back start to appear, and I think it gives it a very realistic look. I remember stating numerous times in the mini figure reviews that I loved how they did that with the Ceratopsians, and they've done that here with the Ceratosaurus, and I think it takes the overall realism level of this figure to another level because it just honestly looks very real because of that nice wash included. As you come down, you can see the nice shoulder blade protruding from the skin, and you move into the arms. Very nice musculature and muscle tone of the arms. It's definitely got very strong arms. And when you move into the hand, look how real that looks. The nails are painted perfectly, but overall, it honestly looks like a real, living dinosaur hand. They've done an incredible job once again with that white wash in this area. It just looks ridiculously, ridiculously real. I absolutely love this. As you move up into the stomach, you can see some nice skin folds here. You can get an idea of the rib cage sticking out there a little bit from the body. The skin being pulled very nicely as the leg is moving here. Looks very realistic, and again right here, the skin appears to be moving exactly as it should be, considering the movement of the leg. Then as we get up here into the back, the hip area, you can see the hip is nicely protruding from the body. You come down and look at the incredible musculature here of the thigh. It's a very muscular dinosaur and they've portrayed that very beautifully here in the overall sculpt. And the skin is just appears to be reacting exactly to the way it would be in the position that the dinosaur is in. Once again, there is another seam here in the kneecap area, but it's pretty much non-existent. Look, you don't even notice it as soon as you move it away. You've got to get really close to pick up on that. So once again, stating just how wonderful of a job PNSO is doing as far as hiding the seams. The body parts do have to be connected somehow. So PNSO is improving consistently on already amazing figures with the way that they put them together. Then you come down, you can see very nice musculature here in the calf. The calf is absolutely huge and bulging. And then you move down, and as you move down, just look at how incredible this looks. You can pretty much like look at the tendons and the bone structure of the foot as you come down into the very realistic looking foot. And once again, this foot just looks super real with that wash that's been included. It genuinely looks like what I would expect on an emu. So take a look at this image here. And then look at this. That image was of an emu's foot. This obviously is the Ceratosaurus foot, and they just look so similar, which really shows you the absolute realism of this figure, and why I say this is one of the most, if not the single most realistic figure that I have. And then you run out the length of the tail, the scale work looks beautiful, once again that white wash is up here on the upper part, really elaborating on that incredible detail and sculpt. The skin all appears to be reacting exactly as it should be, considering the curve in the end of the tail comes out to a nice point here on the tail, but overall everything just looks perfect. Then we take a look at the other side of the head sculpt, and uh, it looks very, very nice once again. The eye looks beautifully glossed, the mouth looks fantastic, everything as far as the paint applied all looks beautifully airbrushed on, and looks very, very realistic. As we lead down the neck, you can again pick up on the nice hanging skin here in the throat of the Ceratosaurus, and really just look at all the different tones of skin color as I turn it. It's absolutely incredible just how much paint has been applied to this figure. And then again, taking a look here at the back, there's that very nice wash that is included up there. We move down into the shoulder blade. You can take note of the shoulder blade again, protruding from the skin and those very nice muscular arms. Once again, take a look at how realistic those hands look. The nails, everything are painted to perfection. We move up here into the stomach region. You can again see the skin folds here in the stomach, and you can really take note of how beautifully they've portrayed the movement of the dinosaur with the leg pushing up into the stomach. It just in general looks so realistic, the way everything is reacting to the movement of the dinosaur, it honestly just blows me away. And then we come up here into the hip, and again the hip bone is nicely portrayed there, and here is, just look at how realistic the skin looks. The skin, the movement of the dinosaur is so insanely beautifully portrayed in the sculpt. It's just absolutely baffling to me. I see great sculpt work on so many different companies' figures, but I don't think I ever see anything as absolutely jaw-dropping as I see here on this PNSO Ceratosaurus. And then as you move down the leg, you can again pick up on the seam right here in the leg, right where the knee connects, but once again, as you move away, it just looks like kind of like a skin fold or something. You really don't notice it. And then there's the beautiful, huge, bulging calf muscle. Once again, coming down into the very, very insanely realistic looking Ceratosaurus foot. Once again, just looks absolutely real 
and alive. They've done such a great job on the overall realism of this. And then as we lead out to the tail here, you can again take note of the beautiful sculpt work as far as the scales and osteoderms and everything. And then you come out into that very nice curve. The Ceratosaurus in general has a very nice thick tail, but all the skin and sculpt work again really appears to be reacting to the way it should be with the uh, movement of the dinosaur, and it overall looks amazing. The sculpting of all the detail and everything on the underside looks incredible as well. Look how beautifully sculpted that is, even the bottom of the feet just look beyond realistic. Look how real the uh, scaling and the sculpt work of the skin detail and skin texture looks. Everything is just amazing on this figure. So I did state how insanely large this Ceratosaurus figure is, and unfortunately it is so big I can't even get it in the screen, so this is the best way I can portray to you the size with a measurement. So for a size from the bend in the tail, we can't really go to the tip of the tail because it does have that nice curve, you're looking at about 23 inches or about 59 centimeters in length, and for a height to the tip of the crest, of the Ceratosaurus, you're looking at about a foot high or about 30 centimeters high. If we go to the top of the tail, and again this is of course on the actual base because the Ceratosaurus cannot stand without the base, you're looking at about 10 and a half inches or about 26 and a half centimeters. For a size comparison, there is the Papo T-Rex and there is the Ceratosaurus. That is just ridiculous how large the Ceratosaurus is. If we put it right here under his head, you can really, really see just how insanely large the Ceratosaurus is. So I think this cost about 70 or 80 dollars, somewhere in that range. So for the size and the incredible price tag, you are without question getting your money's worth. You will probably never in a million years have a chance to own something as large and as beautifully painted as this with that price range ever again. It's just not going to happen unless PNSO releases more of these incredible large vinyl scale models because you just could never in a million years buy a resin kit or a figure like this from a company like Sideshow or Damn Toys or anything for that price. It's just not going to happen. So showing you again the size, that is honestly very impressive to me and should be just as impressive to you. And if any of you out there have purchased the recent Ophthalmosaurus from PNSO, this is the Ophthalmosaurus next to the PNSO Ceratosaurus. Once again showing you that even the Ophthalmosaurus is a good bit smaller than the Ceratosaurus. I am not joking around when I tell you the Ceratosaurus is gigantic. And of course the base itself is that new style base from PNSO that they release with all of their newer figures. It's a very artsy type of a look with PNSO down there in the corner. And of course you've got these pegs here to hold the Ceratosaurus up. Being that it's on one foot, it could not balance without this base. It's just not possible. So do get this very beautiful looking base with it. So when I say that PNSO has really outdone themselves with this figure, I am not kidding. I honestly don't believe that I own or will ever own a figure that looks more realistic and more beautiful than this Ceratosaurus. It's just honestly that nice. The overall appearance of this figure is in a very nice striking paint scheme as it's moving and taking a step up here. Kind of appears to be maybe in uh, the middle of a turn as it's running or battling a larger dinosaur. Kind of gives me that idea. And the entire movement of the dinosaur is so beautifully portrayed in the sculpt. It's just mind-blowing how nice it is. The overall paint job is really, really beautifully done and done in such a realistic way. It's beautifully airbrushed on and the overall appearance of the paint looks very striking with that yellowish coloration and the blue up on the snout and the reddish brown on the crest. Everything is just so insanely striking on it, but so realistic. I never in a million years thought that I would see a dinosaur figure that's painted with a yellowish brown that looks as realistic as this thing looks. Overall, this Ceratosaurus is the best and my favorite PNSO figure of all time, and that is without question. And this thing easily just became my favorite figure that I think I own because it is honestly just beautiful. I cannot stress to you just how beautiful this thing is. Honestly, the only thing I can really tell you guys is just head on over to Amazon, to the Amazon PNSO store, purchase one for yourself so you can see it in person like I have, and you will be just as blown away as I currently am. This thing is unbelievable. So I will link you in the description to where you can purchase this amazing PNSO Ceratosaurus. You should definitely head on over there right now, go purchase this guy, and please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review.
Thanks for watching.